Red pandas at the Reed Park Zoo, they're leaving in March. And today, Zoo for You, Jed Dodds explains why they have to go. For all of our animals that are paired up here at the Reed Park Zoo, we always hope that there's a love connection. But there's always a story to each one. To help tell the story of our red pandas is Julia, our zookeeper. Julia, we have our two red pandas here, and they're just our winter visitors. But they have a very interesting story on how they both got here. Um, they both came from different zoos. So our female princess Lily came from the Miller Park Zoo, and our male Lot came from the Oklahoma City Zoo and they came to us as part of a breeding recommendation for the species survival plan which is a plan put in place by the different accredited zoos that work together to make matches of animals. Now when they're making these matches of animals they just take two animals and put them together what how do they determine what are two animals that would make a good pair? So one of the most important factors is the genetics. They wanna make sure that there's a lot of good genetic diversity amongst the populations of the red pandas or any species that's under the plan. And that way they can make sure that there's good genetic diversity across all of the different zoos. They also take into consideration the age demographics. So making sure that they will be a good match based on ages and um, that they will be viable for breeding. And both of our pandas came from different places and they came here to kind of start that love connection. Uh, and then the goal is for them to go to the Hogel Zoo. Now, when we first got them, did we start to see any sort of connection? At first they didn't quite get along, which can be the case sometimes with new animals being introduced to each other. But now they seem like they're getting along pretty well. They're playing together. And we've even seen some sort of pre-courtship behaviors, which is the female scent marking and then the male scent marking over top of that. And the goal is to have offspring. And what is a baby red panda called? Baby red pandas are cubs and typically they're born in two, sometimes up to four. And what's the gestation period for a female? About four and a half months. So we probably won't have a baby red panda here, but fingers crossed that at least the love connection started here for the Hogel Zoo to have some babies of their own. Absolutely. Very cool, Julia. Well, thank you for telling us that love connection. And if you'd like any more information on our red pandas or anything else going on here at the Reed Park Zoo, you can always go to our website at reedparkzoo.org and check it out there. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm Jed Dodds bringing the zoo to you.